For the next two chapters, we're going to be studying cells, and to see them, we're going to be able to need to use microscopes. So we're going to learn the parts, and then have a GIMKit test on the parts. And so first up, we have the eyepiece. On its own, it magnifies things by 10. You can actually spin the eyepiece, and it has a little pointer arrow inside, and that allows you to point to objects to show your classmates. Next, we have the body tube. It's not really doing anything. It's a specific length to help us focus. It is not strong. We don't pick up the microscope there. Then we have the arm. That is the strong part of the microscope. We can lift or move the microscope with that if we need to. Now, if you're in my first or sixth period classes, you may be asked to help take out or put away the microscopes. Most of you don't really need to lift the microscope, but maybe just reposition it so it works for you. The stage clips clip onto a slide, a glass slide to hold it on the microscope. When we're really zoomed in to microscopic objects, if they move just the littlest bit, they move a huge amount in our view. Then we have the course adjustment, the big knob. Most microscopes have two knobs. The big knob is for focusing when you're on low or medium power, and that'll make sense in a little bit. Uh, if you crank the big knob, everything gets really blurry, so you don't need to do big turns on the big knob. The little knob is the fine adjustment for focusing on medium or high power, and it does a much better job. Um, most of the microscopes have a light switch. If you can't see anything, I highly suggest making sure the light is on. Then we have the nose piece. The nose piece rotates our three lenses to change how zoomed in or how magnified we are. Those are low power, which is labeled with a 4x, medium power, which is 10x, and high power, which is 40x. High power actually doesn't work on most of the microscopes because when people crank the knobs to focus, they can kind of get the gears out of whack. Um, but for most of our microscopes, all we really need is medium power. Now these are in combination with the eyepiece. So low power is really 10 times 4, or 40 times magnified. Medium power is 10 times 10, 100. And high power is 10 times 40, 40 times magnified. The stage is just the name for where we put the slide. It's uh, the platform that we raise or lower when we turn the big knobs that allows us to focus. And then the diaphragm, the older microscopes have this to uh, regulate the amount of light. The newer microscopes have a dimmer switch, which is really awesome. So diaphragm or dimmer switch. And then the light source. Most of the newer microscopes are LED. The older microscopes are not and can get very hot. So be careful about touching the light on the older microscopes. And then the base is the other strong part. If you need to rotate the microscope on the counter to move it around, you use the base. When we carry the microscope, we always carry with two hands, one holding the arm and one holding the base. When we put the microscope away for the day, we want to unplug it, wrap the cord around the base. If we're putting it away, place the objective at low power and cover the microscope with a bag. The bag is to block out dust so that the microscope doesn't get covered in dust because dust under a microscope looks cool, but it's not what we're looking for. All right, so using the microscope, you always want to put the specimen slide over where the light comes through and then clip it in place with the stage clips. You always want to start on low power and make sure the light is on. You focus first using the course adjustment, the big knob, and then the fine adjustment if you need to make your specimen clear. You may then switch to a higher magnification like 10x or medium power, but you always start on low power even if you know you want to go to a higher magnification later. You may switch to the highest magnification and refocus with the fine adjustment, but be very careful. If you crank the big knob, you might crack the slide or the lens. Slides are five or 10 bucks a piece for these prepared slides, but the lenses can be 40 or 50 bucks. This video, which can help us out, is attached in your chapter three work and will be also on my website. All right, hopefully that helps. As always, email if you have questions.